Installing any new hardware into your system for the first time can be a bit daunting, but in reality it's much easier than most people realise, especially when it comes to the graphics card. First things first, it's advised that prior to installing your new graphics card, you'll want to uninstall the software that you currently have installed or associated with your graphics card. Whilst this can be done in Windows, we recommend that you instead use a display driver uninstaller, also known as DDU, as it generally does a much better job at cleaning out the registry. Don't worry, it's totally free and we'll leave a link in the description below. Alternatively, you could just do a quick Google search and find the latest version. At this point, you're also gonna to wanna to download the new drivers for your graphics card. Simply navigate to amd.com, click drivers and support, then locate the correct drivers. I have the Sapphire Nitro RX 6800 XT, which means I'm gonna click on the 6000 series and then click the relevant model. Once downloaded, extract the software, but don't run it. First, we wanna go back into Windows safe mode. And to do this, we need to follow these steps. Click on the Windows icon in the bottom left corner and select power. While holding down shift, click restart. Once the options appear, you wanna click on troubleshoot and then advanced options. While in the advanced options tab, find the startup settings. Under startup settings, click restart and various boot options are displayed. Window 10 starts in safe mode is what you want to select. Once in safe mode, run display driver uninstaller. You might be presented with a checklist of options, but the default selected is already pretty much what you need. So you can just close this for the time being. Then select the device that you wanna remove. This in this case is the GPU. And once selected, click on clean and shut down for installing a new graphics card. Okay, now we're set up to install the new upgrade. Now, of course you can ignore this whole phase of safe mode if you're building a new computer from scratch as you won't have any previous graphics card drivers installed on your system. Once your system is shut down, you're gonna to wanna to turn off the power switch, which is located on the back of the power supply unit and the rear of the system. Unplug the power cables and any cables that are going from your current graphics card to your monitors. Also be sure to unplug any cables that could get in your way if you need to move your case around. Right, now we're ready to open up the side panel and dive inside. You probably find this next bit much easier if you lay your system down flat. Now quickly tap on some metal to discharge any static electricity that you've built up. Touch the side of your case to do this and now we're ready to remove that old graphics card. Start by unplugging any PCI Express power cables and just move them out of the way for now. Next, remove the screws connecting the GPU to the case mounting bracket and then put them to one side. And finally, you'll need to release the latch on your motherboard's PCI Express slot. Now, depending on your system and other components, this can be either super easy or rather fiddly. It's going to vary from machine to machine. If you've got a clear path to the motherboard latch, simply press down until it clicks and releases the graphics card and then gently remove the graphics card. Simple. If on the other hand, you don't have a clear path to the latch, things get a little bit more complicated. For instance, the latch in my system is not only obstructed by a huge CPU cooler, but the heatsink on my M2 drive is also ever so slightly raised above the latch, making it extremely difficult to release by hand. Our options in this case are to either remove the CPU cooler, which can end up being quite a big job, or find something that can reach the latch safely. If you're going to attempt to reach the latch with some sort of object, make sure it's not something conductive or something that could potentially gouge the motherboard if you slip. I know it's tempting, but avoid using a screwdriver or a knife. Obviously, there's always going to be risks when using this method, and we certainly don't recommend doing it if it can be helped. Anyway, once the old card is removed, place it somewhere out of the way, preferably on or in a box where it's not gonna be damaged. Now, before we handle our new card, quickly discharge any static, remove the new card from its anti-static bag, line it up with your motherboard's top PCI slot, make sure to check that no cables or other objects are in the way, and then gently slide the card into the slot until the latch clicks. Screw the card to the mounting bracket and then plug in the PCI Express power cables. Once this is done, put the side panels back onto the case, plug in all the required cables and then turn on the power on the back of the PSU. Boot up the system and once you're in Windows, you're going to want to install the AMD drivers that we downloaded earlier. During the install process, you may notice a few screen flickers, but don't worry, that is totally normal. And once the setup is complete, give your system a restart. Congratulations, you're now successfully installed a new graphics card.